Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're highly welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. You guys are the best. And to those who do not know who I am, I'll start off again by introducing myself. My name is Valen Posse. I am a graduate student at the University of Alabama, Birmingham, UAB, where I am studying cybersecurity. So guys, I make educational videos centered around study abroad, as well as sharing my experiences here in the United States of America as an international student. So if any of these areas sound interesting, then you definitely want to join this family and all you have to do is hit the subscribe button, turn your notifications bell on so you're the first to get notified once I upload my content. So guys, Today's video is basically um, more like a story time kind of video. Your girl is pumped, your girl is excited, your girl is looking all American. <laughs> if you've seen my title, I mean you've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, before you're watching this video, it means you've seen all those things. So yes, give me some moment to, you know, yeah. So guys, it's good news and I said it in my vlog where I talked about like the detailed, um, productive, online college day in my life week vlog so if you haven't seen those videos then you should watch them when you're done watching this one okay so yes that's the good news the good news is that i was able to get internship finally in the united states of america yay so guys i also filmed a video where i talked about how i lost my internship to coronavirus but this video is not like a sad video it's not a video to make you feel bad it's a video to you know encourage you to lift your spirit let you know that if it can happen you know for me it can happen for you you just believe in God trust God now also let you know maybe like tips at the end of the video so you want to watch this video to the very end you want to like you know get yourself ready okay so um, what happened I already like lost hope I wasn't going to you know have an internship or anything maybe use my lab you know work as my internship kind of thing you know so and I just I don't know so one day I, I so I was taking summer classes and you know after summer class I was like, I was talking to my professor, I told my professor, I was like, I just signed up for the class and we were just chatting. And I told him, sir, please, this is my situation. I don't know. Remember that in my video where I talked about like my first experience moving to the United States of America. If you haven't seen that video, please go see that video. Like, <laughs> forget all the all this sling you are seeing right now. That girl, that time was was a mess. Go and see that video, okay? So before my classmates, you know, joined the Zoom um, um, class, I just was talking to him. He was asking me what's going on and stuff. And I explained to him how I lost my summer internship to coronavirus and being, you know, just. Being being an international student, it can be very challenging to find job placement, um, you know, internship and stuff like that. I'm already working on a video where I'll be talking about um, the top 10 challenges that international students face in the United States of America. So that's one of the reasons you need to also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I share all the things going on here like so that before you come you you are well prepared not to scare you but just so that you are well prepared because most of us were not like prepared. We just felt like when we come here everything will be fine but you know these challenges prepare you to become better. That's why networking is key. So I spoke to him about my challenges and everything and then he was like okay do I have my resume ready? I'm like yeah I do have my resume ready and it was like okay I should send my resume over to him so that he, first of all he would have to criticize it and why I really love that was the fact that he's like I mean this man is big this this man is big you know when they say somebody is big he's big not just in my field he's big in the school he's big in this you know what we are doing he's big you know and I look up to him a lot he's my mentor <laughs> I don't get tired of saying that so I was happy that he was going to at least go over my resume and criticize it that in itself was even more than enough for me you know but he said he was going to actually send it to him and we send it out to some people so i did i sent it to him i think it took about like less than a week he got back to me um finally he now sent me a, um, a message via telegram that he had already sent it out to someone i should expect a call from them i'm like okay no problem sir so i fast forward i got a call not really a call i didn't get the 
mail like i didn't i didn't see the mail from them i didn't hear because i was like today tomorrow i didn't get a call it sounded like it was a call or something i didn't i not told that i have not heard from him and i was like okay he now sent me a screenshot of the mail the man sent to me and guys when i checked my mail and che that time i didn't see i didn't know it was my spam or my junk so i had to check again and i saw it and i replied and guys this video is going to be uploaded when everything is done because right now they are you know currently doing some checks you know how it is now like in, in, in the states they need to carry out some checks on you to know that you are fit you don't have any issue whatever you know and stuff like that so that's why you have to be very careful when you get into the states and ensure that you don't do anything that will implicate you ensure that you have clean record you have a good record you are in good standing academically and otherwise you don't have any issue whatsoever just ensure that you have a clean slate because one thing is for someone to recommend you another thing is for you to have you know you know be ready or have what is required like if you have a bad you know um record definitely you will not get that job so even if you were recommended they will not hire you so you need to ensure that when you get to the states you are you know you are very you know like deliberate about the kind of friends you keep about the things you do because anything can be used against you so you want to have that in your head so that's what is going on so when that is settled when i'm you know working like officially then i'll upload this video but let's move on to the you know gist so finally he called me they um you know we had like um, he scheduled a Zoom session, you know, with me for like an interview just for them to get to know me. So the interview was myself and then um, the man and his colleague. So it went well, it was very nice, I was happy and then he was like, I should expect like his response in a day or two. So after that, I sent him like, you know, a thank you message, um, you know, and that's what one of the things you need to do. After every interview, ensure that you send them a thank you message is very important, you know, just do that. And so the next day he replied and told me that there's good news that I've been accepted. So yeah, eh, 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 eh. So guys, your girl, finally, found an internship something that i felt like was never going to happen like i already gave up hope i'm graduating in december you know so when am i going to do that but i am so excited i thank god and i thank my professor you need to build network you need to be around people that understand you speak out because if you don't speak out nobody will know so don't hide i also made a video where i talked about you know the things you must avoid in college one of the things i said if you've not seen that video please watch it the link is here after you're done watching this video one of the things i said was that you should not you know don't pretend if say it talk people will listen to you because nobody will help you if they don't know what you're going through if i didn't talk to my professor I wouldn't even get that opportunity so guys that's the end of this video yeah 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 i hope you know you are doing okay my story is just for you to be encouraged to know that you know it may not work out in a certain time it might work out better and guys you know if you see where i'm working it's just a job that i love to do i'm passionate about i am you know if you know me even before coming to the states you know that i'm I'm passionate about community service. I'm passionate about, you know, anything that is purposeful, like anything that revolves around making the world a better place resonates with my spirit. Like it comes from my soul. And so when I, you know, I get that kind of opportunity, I am forever grateful. So guys, don't give up. I know things might not be working out the way you want them to work out or, you know, the, the things that, you know, just seem like everything is i i've already lost hope imagine you know so because summer is already this is fall and now this is coming so it's never too late it's never too late when it's your time it's your time so tell yourself it is never too late when it is my time it is my time say it again my time is coming my time is now god will favor me god will send helpers of destiny to locate me say that to yourself daily i am smart i'm intelligent i'm the best version of myself my future is great guys guys believe in god believe in god while we while i'm thankful to my professor i'm also thankful to god because if it's not god maybe he would not even want to help me but he's a man like he loves the lord and i respect him so much and i'm so thankful i even you know it, i had to dance that day i was even playing music and all of that so that's all that happened i felt like i should share because not every time we share bad news and stuff let me also share the good news so that you'll be pumped and you'll be inspired and you'll be encouraged you know i don't know what it is you're going through i don't know what it is that you've been denied i don't know what it is that you've lost i don't know what it is that corona stole from you but i want you to know that you know 
I also gain something and I'm telling you that whatever it is that you lost, what you gain will be much more. You know, God will do it for you just the same way he did it for me. I have other dreams, I have other things I'm looking onto for the future. I'm also praying that God should open more doors for me and I know that God will also open more doors for you. So guys, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.